Hey, Wallspring, man, it's been a week. Um, and as your pastor, I wanted to reach out today to provide both some encouragement and clarity about how we as a church are moving forward in light of the governor's request yesterday that large gatherings discontinue for a while. Um, we plan to fully follow the request of our leaders, which means that as of today, we are suspending all on-campus activities until further notice. Uh, that means our Sunday gatherings, our student gatherings, our Bible studies, all of those are gonna be suspended for on-campus meeting. Now, as we did yesterday, uh, we are working hard to provide online options for as many activities as possible. Uh, for example, our Wellspring Kids Department is working hard to create online environments for kids that we hope you'll be able to enjoy on the weekends, and we plan to have a fully developed plan to announce to you by Thursday afternoon. For our Wellspring students, uh, we're also working hard to create online environments for tribes so that they can stay connected to our church and they can stay connected to each other. And we hope to have a fully developed plan to announce on that by Wednesday afternoon. Now, for everyone currently in a group, CG's Bible studies, here's what we're asking. Take this week off. And by next week, we plan to have online alternatives ready for you as well. Now, as for our Sunday gatherings, we will still have them. At 8.30, 10, and 11.30, we will just gather online. Uh, we're gonna continue our series, Now What? I'm gonna be teaching each week. I'll just preach to an empty room and to all of you at home. Because honestly, I think it is the perfect series for our church right now. Uh, what I hope you hear is this. Your church isn't going anywhere. And while we can't gather together in person, we will be together in spirit. Uh, we're here for you, we're praying for you, and we want to stay connected with you. It's with that in mind that I wanna ask again, if you haven't already, please go to your app store and download the Wellspring app. This allows you to communicate with us. It allows us to communicate with you. Every update and every online opportunity that we have can be reached through this app. And it is the best way for us to stay connected over the next few weeks. I also wanted to take a moment to simply address a few of the questions that have come up over the past few days and to help you understand how we as your church see this moment. Uh, we've been asked, wait about, aren't we operating out of fear? What's going on? And for us, the answer is clear, no. We are not acting out of fear. Uh, we know that we are walking in wisdom. If I woke up in the middle of the night and I smelled smoke, I wouldn't roll over and simply pray that it was nothing. I would get up, I would check the house, and if I discovered a fire, I would get my family out of the house. That's wisdom, that's not fear. Another question we've heard, aren't we making too big a deal about this? Won't most of us be okay, even if we get it? And it's a great question. And while most of us probably would be okay if we got it, we aren't the issue. See, the calling of a follower of Jesus is to care for everyone, is to do what is best for everyone not just for ourselves. And this is the moment for our church to be known by our love and our care for everyone in our community. So here's what we're asking you to do this week. Uh, number one, download the app, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, you can share our updates on other opportunities. Um, I encourage you right now, make plans to join us online this weekend as we continue to learn what do we do when we don't know what's next. Uh, but above all this wellspring, I ask you to join me in prayer. Uh, prayer for our leaders, prayer for our nation, prayer for the world. Uh, we ask God to give our leaders wisdom in their approach, uh, to give us perseverance for this moment. And we pray for healing for everyone affected. I love you, wellspring. We will talk again soon.